Hey there, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, I want to show you something really cool about budgeting today. This is uh, an example. The example I'm just looking at here and clicking through and showcasing is was part of a recent uh, Enterprise DNA learning summit, and I think there's some good learnings about a particular uh, example that I ran through in this full workshop, which had, which had a few few hundred people attend um, around budgeting sensitivities or a budgeting sensitivity table. Now, it's all about working out a way to allocate, say, numbers or allocating calculations across, say, months or, 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 or different time frames, okay? I think it'll be a lot clearer when we go through a bit of a demo. I'm gonna show, show you a few nuances of how this all works and, and I think your, your mind will expand based on you know, something that you're working on. You'll think, oh wow, I can actually um, take a calculation that I'm doing and allocate it in a, in a unique way um, across something totally different to what um, it's set up in a table to do, okay? So let's have a look at the scenario and I think the model is really key here in understanding how to set up your model. Now we have two tables. Now our budgets just did not come in a great format, right? Or they just came in a way that we need to you know, place some additional logic into our formulas um, and, and really organize our model really well. Okay, so what happened was in this particular scenario we got some budgets and they were in a yearly in a yearly time frame. So we got a, we got one budget per city that we sold that we sold in right so every city has a budget for 2018 disregard this particular column the key is this one here 2018 budgets okay so one budget so first of all we had to allocate it at a month to a monthly um at a monthly level or we needed to we needed to ultimately allocate this to a daily level uh, which i which i have actually explained in another video so um but i'll, I'll quickly review it here but the key here is that we need to somehow like we want to analyze this this result, right? We want to analyze it versus something else, versus like our actual results, or versus um, you know some uh, forecasts or something like that. We need to somehow allocate. We can't just have one number for the year, right? We want to show show how things perform through time. We want to show trends, etc. And so we can't do it with just one number. Now to allocate it, what we were also given in this particular example was we were given some budget sensitivities, okay? And so. Um, and this is the core of what I want to show you today is how we can allocate things, how we can allocate sensitivities like this or integrate sensitivities like this into numbers or into calculations that we might be doing. Now we have yearly um, budgets, right? Well, what this is doing is it's breaking down the particular um, budgets by their month. And so this is where seasonality or sensitivity can come into your numbers, right? And it doesn't have to be budgets, it can be a whole variety of things. But in this particular case, it's just based on our budgets or forecasts. And so we have, um, say, you know, it, say we're, we're based in the US and we have an increase um, an increase of allocation required in the middle of the year versus where, where there's summer and then also a slight um, increase during Christmas, okay? And so what we need to do is we need to somehow find a way to integrate this into some date analysis that we might be doing. So you see here, I just realized I might want to actually increase the size of this a little bit so we can actually all see it. Um, not the total, we need the column header as well. Sorry, let's just quickly fix this up. Right, so we have our month and year, right? Now the month and year, as you'll see here, came from the date table. Now one thing I want to show you here is that this regional tape, this budget table, doesn't have any relationships. This, but the key here that I want to go run through is the sensitivity has absolutely no relationships at all to anything. It's just sitting down here in the model. It's a very detailed model. It's just sitting down here, right down here, all by itself and this is where I recommend to place these sort of things um, because it just makes it very clear that this is a supporting table this is this is a support table which is going to support logic that we are going to complete in our core model up here okay and this and this is all nicely laid out very intuitive really easy to understand with simple relationships right this is what you should all be aiming for in your models so what we need to do is we need to 
so let's just have a quick look here so we we've done this very simple calculation here now i want you to have, just have a look at this particular part here what this has done is we're calculating up those yearly results okay so and don't don't worry about that treat as down the bottom there i i um if you type in treat as tr type in treat as into uh, into YouTube search and you'll quickly see a few videos from me um, around how this actually operates but I'll I don't want to go into this part I want to go into the next part how you can utilize that sensitivity table really really well okay so what we have here you'll see here that we have a yearly budget right but it's not allocated it's not allocated at all it's just the full number so we're getting the total 59,000 or 59 million all the time right well, what we want to do is we want to, uh, and one thing I also just remember is we need to actually also, we only want to look at in this particular page, 2018. So we're only looking at 2018. Well, what we need to do, right, this is not, because these are 2018 budgets, well, we need to somehow allocate these across every single month, okay? And I'm going to show you something really, really cool, and I'm going to break it out, okay? And so I've got the result here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new formula and just show you this part and see and show you what it's doing. So let's have a look here. So 2018 budget allocation. Okay, so what we're trying to do here, what we're trying to do, and I'm going to just uh, set this up, push enter, and um, we're going to, Just landed in the wrong one so we'll move this down to our budgeting measures you see how I've laid out all my measures in these measure groups absolutely key and so let's have a look at what this is what this is doing now so we also probably want to turn this to a percentage as well and we'll go zero zero decimal points okay so you see what I've done there see what I've done remember that that table had absolutely no relationship to the date table which is where this particular column is coming from so really there's no way there's no way for us to go and grab information from that table and have it filtered by something from the date table there is no there is literally no connection between the date table here and this table nothing right so we need to create that connection inside formula and this is what this this is the core of what I wanted to talk through today is that you can you can create connections or you can create virtual relationships I like to call them utilizing the treat as function and you can bring this logic into calculations right and create that filtering so what we've done is within that budget sensitivity table we had a month name column so you see here month name right and so what I knew was that if I went to my date table I actually had a column which which was very similar to that okay and so let's go and find it in here and you'll see here that this column it was actually a calculated column as well is called the short month and it's the first three letters of each individual month and so you see that we can even though we can't draw a physical relationship between these two tables we can do it virtually which is where this real power of this allocation methodology comes in and so what I've done is you'll see that using treat as I've gone and created that connection between the date table short month column and the budget sensitivity table month name column even though in a model there's nothing okay and you'll see now that we then get a breakdown of that correct allocations for the correct months now okay and then what we can do and this is this is where it's quite cool right is we can then integrate these into into other formulas and make them cleaner and nicer right and so what i've done is i've utilized that formula as a variable exactly the same formula and then i've gone well if the month and year is filtered i want to times the yearly budget which is this particular result right here by the budget allocation if not which is just the totals then return the yearly budget which is this, this particular result here which is right okay so look what happens when i drag this in so i'm going to drag this in and so you see now that we have this allocation we have this allocation via the sensitivity table now completed but we've done it all via formula that's pretty cool right this is a seriously seriously cool technique that has so many applications and i have no doubt will clean up your models immensely if you can get the concept and integrate it somehow into what you're doing
So the, the reason why I really love this is just the simplification of your model. It can really, really simplify things and, and really generate insights that were just so, so difficult to do before. And instead of having all these fancy relationships and calculated columns, we can just do it in some simple, clean formula. Okay, hopefully you like this one. A um, bit, uh, bit of a detailed one, good breakout session from, from um, as I mentioned, the Learning Summit, which was which was much longer and much deeper, um, really showed you every single concept, um, you know, for or around budgeting uh, during, during that particular one. So I'll, I'll make sure to leave a link below to see where those are located now. Um, but hopefully you like this one. If you did, throw the video a like, really appreciate it as always. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. We have so much great content uh, planned and coming out uh, around Power BI, you know, just like this and, and much, much more. So looking forward to getting it out to you. Okay, all the best.